Hello, Elevate family, and we've made it to day 10 of our prayer and fasting journey. I want to invite you to reflect with me today on the topic of relationships. So let's start by reading Matthew 18, verse 21 and 22. Then Peter approached him and asked, Lord, how many times must I forgive my brother or sister who sins against me? As many as seven times? I tell you, not as many as seven, Jesus replied, but 70 times seven. Can you believe that number? That's a big number. I think I'm past that number with people in my life. But we often hear this scripture and we think of all those people that have wronged us. But what better to but what better way to examine our own relationships than by looking at Jesus and Peter's relationship in this context? So let's talk a little about what's going on. So during this time, there's an appropriate amount of times um, people should forgive someone and in this case the Jewish priest would tell people three times is enough but we see Peter has an understanding that it might be more he asked Jesus if it's seven but Jesus completes Peter's understanding by saying no it's 70 times seven suggesting that we shouldn't even keep count of the number because it's just too big so how many times in our relationships do we think that we have the big picture you know, the complete understanding of why this relationship is how it is and why it even ended. Jesus tells us that we don't have the complete understanding, not until we can accept what divine forgiveness means. See, divine forgiveness is that Jesus forgives us continuously, daily, so we have a chance to restore our personal relationship with Him. This understanding applies and it is so crucial for us to apply this in our relationships with people. The fact that Jesus forgives totally and completely means that our relationships can begin to thrive and mend and even reconcile. I mean, how many of you would want that? I know I would. We must learn to continuously forgive those who hurt us and not to say that we're gonna turn a blind eye to any type of abuse but we allow wisdom to guide us and to teach us into starting each day anew, which can help the relationship stay fresh and even open our eyes to see people the way God sees us with grace and mercy. So as we enter this 10th day, you might begin to feel an alertness. The flesh is being submitted under the authority of the spirit, which is so awesome. So God, so ask God to reveal to you all those relationships, whether it be your marriage, your children, your parents, siblings, or even friends, that you need to forgive or even ask for forgiveness yourself. Not because of your pain and not because of what society has told you and how to do and think and act, but because Jesus knows all. So let me leave you with this. Don't make your identity someone who says, I'm not good at relationships, so I'm not even gonna try because Jesus has ordained for us to be a relational being, to relate to one another, to grow, to build each other up, and lastly, to forgive, because you know what? Jesus forgives us. So I pray that this encourages you today. God bless.